Now, whoa, 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 whoa. Do you see what I see? A Blackie Speaks video that's over 10 minutes. I, I think we gotta celebrate this by maybe dropping a like on this video. I don't know, you make a decision. Now, I'm gonna say this from the most unbiased perspective that I possibly can, okay? But one day, 6 9 will go down in the history books. It doesn't matter what I think, it doesn't matter what you think, it just is what it is. I'm saying this for a couple reasons though, so, you know, let's not waste any time and let's talk about it. Now, Takashi69 has definitely proven himself to be a master manipulator. He's currently trending all over the internet because he dropped his first song post-release. The track is called Gooba, which I honestly can say with a straight face, but that's a title and the song did so well it literally froze the YouTube views. Ain't that crazy? It racked up so many views at the same time the algorithm couldn't even keep up with it. But there is a lot of conversations, opinions, takes, perspectives, whatever you want to call it, about 6 9 at this very moment. It seems like everyone has something to say about either this new song that he dropped or him in general. I definitely have a couple things to say about this whole thing. The first one being he definitely fooled us all. Like I said, 6 9 is literally a master manipulator and it's never been more clear than it is right now. After everything that's happened to him, after he got locked up back in November 2018, was facing up to 48 years behind bars, turned his back on Treyway after they turned theirs on him first, got his life threatened a million times after that, got told time after time that his entire career is over after snitching, but at the end of the day, the guy's back. Back like he never left. If a rap came home to like the way I came home and did more numbers than me, I would be mad. I, you have every reason to be mad. Every reason. This live stream that he did broke the record for the most viewed IG live ever and you can see that he's been waiting so much for this very moment. He's in his element. He's doing exactly what he's been doing since day one, which is talk that shit. Isn't it crazy how everyone, even the people who absolutely hate his guts, are tuning into this conversation about him? Of course, he is trending, but you gotta keep in mind how much power the guy has over the media. A simple little Instagram comment here and there after he got released led to the internet and the media talking about him for days straight. Now exactly how long do you think just this one song is gonna have everyone talking? This Gooba record is exactly everything I thought it wouldn't be because the logic I was operating from was considering everything he's been through, considering his very specific situation, there's no way he's gonna start from where it all ended. But that's exactly what he did. 6 9 is still rapping about catching bodies. He's still coming for the industry's neck with no kind of hesitation. The thing that confused me the most initially when I listened to it was how is he even allowed to rap about this despite the fact that that's why he got locked up in the first place. Meaning everything he was involved in, the gang life, was directly funded by his rap records. That's why he ended up in the position he was in. Shouldn't what he's rapping about on Gooba be seen as him instigating more trouble that's eventually gonna put him behind bars once again by the but then I remembered 6 9 is a character, that's all. That's the story he's been telling in court ever since he got locked up. There's a difference between 6 9 and Daniel Hernandez. Under the threat of jail time, the Brooklyn rapper born Daniel Hernandez said 6 9 was merely a character he plays. A statement released by his attorney following the 2018 arrest on federal charges deflated the Takashi myth in no uncertain terms, calling the rapper an entertainer who portrays a gangster image to promote his music, who'd done nothing but get mixed up with the wrong crowd. An entertainer at his finest, that's what he is and that's what he's proven himself to be, especially right now. You know, I'm wondering, is all this entertainment he's been giving us for the last month gonna be worth it in the end? I'm saying this because right now, more than ever, one thing is extremely clear. The rap culture, hip hop, is viewed as nothing but entertainment by most people. That's just how things are looking. One thing that's probably going through your big ass head right now is music has always been about entertainment. What are you talking about? Funny enough, a friend of mine just just a couple hours ago brought this up when we were having a conversation about Takashi, but get this one thing. When 6 9 got locked up and when he snitched, what did most of us say, including me by the way? What we all said was, his career is over, he's done, he snitched. There's no way this guy is ever gonna get released and be bigger than he was before he got locked up. Does that sound familiar? This has been one of the most, if not the most popular opinion regarding 6 9 ever since he got locked up. Now, why exactly would most people not only believe, but say such a thing? Because we were all looking at this from a very particular lens, and the lens that I'm talking about is the he snitched, he's lost a respect, and considering everything his entire image is built on, how is a guy who said one thing but acted the complete opposite gonna have a successful career and thrive after the fact? Ugh, that was a long ass sentence. I need to take a breath for once, man. God 
God damn it. Anyway, you get my point, right? It turns out that most people do not care, but one thing most people do care about is being entertained. At this very moment, it's not about if 6 9 snitched or not. At this very moment, it's about can he keep on entertaining us? The past doesn't really matter in this case. It's about what do we have in front of us right now? Just looking at the comment section of my last video I made on him titled, People Will Still Listen to 6 9 there's proof right there. Most people genuinely do not care. Notice how the attitude most people have towards him has completely shifted. If that wasn't the case, then Gooba Gooba wouldn't be doing as well as it's doing right now. They say that numbers don't lie, which is of course true, but in this case, I also want to add this. The reception towards 6 9 doesn't lie. The only thing that's quote unquote holding him back is the fact that he's physically not safe. So he can't be all up in the mix like he used to be, but considering the fact that his social media numbers are more than booming at the moment, does he really even need to be all up in the mix to keep the internet talking? Absolutely not. But where was the loyalty when you were sleeping with my baby mother? Where was the loyalty when you was caught on the wiretap trying to kill me? Where was the loyalty when you tried to kidnap my mother? Where was the loyalty when you were stealing millions of dollars from me? Where was that? I think 6 9 made a really good point about the loyalty aspect of this conversation. That's not something the people who despise him even want to discuss because they're biased. But let's keep it real, man. Did he even have a chance to be loyal? This is an aspect that was completely overlooked initially when he started cooperating with the feds. I get it though. I even overlooked it. But he does have a point. And he's making this point and his motives for why he snitched very clear. It doesn't matter if you think it's right or wrong, the fact still stands. The public perception of him is slowly starting to turn around. In a really strange way, people want to find a reason to support him if you think about it. 6 9 has literally been thriving off of people hating his guts since day one. It's kind of like that XXX Tentacion and yes, I'm gonna say it, effect where the hate turned him into an underdog and eventually he became the underdog that people wanted to see at the top. Do you remember how much X got hated? on when he started calling out Drake back in 2017? Do you think for a second that X stood a chance against Drake if it wasn't for the fact that people actually wanted to see him win, despite the fact that he was getting portrayed as the underground rapper who was clout chasing by a lot of people? Obviously, that wasn't the case, at least in my opinion, but X in a way had the luxury of ending that battle on a high note because what really happened after that whole X versus Drake thing? He ended up cultivating one of the most powerful fan bases in the game and has, till this day, broke all kinds of records. Now, that's a W. You, man. This is what I'm talking about when I make this XXX Tentacion and Takashi 69 comparison. They both got boosted to the top due to them being so hated, but in the end, they both found massive success. In Takashi's case, he managed to turn it all around. And get this, till this day, you know, despite everything that's happened, he's feeding into the character 69 and is still winning, which I don't think would be possible, but he's making it happen. If you can't be loyal to me out here, in the free world, what makes you think if I would've held it down, you wouldn't violate me in the prison? Obviously, I don't know how long this is gonna last. It's only the beginning, anything can happen. But I think this kind of sets the tone for how this 6 9 movie is gonna play out from this point. Now, I asked the Twitter fam to hit me up with some opinions slash takes regarding this entire situation. So let's take a look at some of them before we end this video. Say what you want about him. 6 9 took a fat dub in this situation. Yes, he's got a lot of people upset with him. But if you ask me, this controversy probably doubled his popularity. I mean, the man just hit two mil on IG Live insane. This is the, you know, most obvious part about everything that's going on with him. Like they say, any publicity is good publicity, right? As long as people are talking, which they will, he's gonna keep on getting more and more popular. More people are gonna stream his music. He'll be the man of the hour, 24 hours a day on repeat. As long as there is something regarding him to cover, which there will be because he always has something up his sleeve. The fact that this man broke the internet with one Instagram live session and got over 2 million people watching him should tell you that. And that should also tell you how powerful his actual presence on the internet is. I really feel like 6 9 is probably one of the most misunderstood artists in this generation. People don't care enough to do enough research as to why he actually did what he did and people would rather hop on a wave of hate instead of actually looking into it. I talked about earlier in the video how most people overlooked one thing in his case and it's the fact that he didn't have anyone to be loyal to in the first place. In the heat of the moment, I overlooked it myself but looking at, you know, his situation from an objective standpoint, this makes a lot of sense since his people were the ones to cross him first. This is information you gotta dig to get though. It's not at the forefront of this story when it's covered. Of course, it's there. That's not what I'm saying. Don't get me wrong. But what I am saying is when most people think about 6 9 they don't think about the fact that he was kidnapped by his own crew. They think about the fact that he snitched.
That's the point I'm trying to make. That's why people have been throwing dirt on his name ever since he got locked up. All people see is he snitched and that's it. Looking at the situation as it is, that's true. That's what happened. That's what he did. But why did he do it is a question that doesn't really come up enough. I think this is when the whole perception of 6 9 started to shift. When everyone found out how his crew straight up played him and used him as a pawn to keep on fueling their criminal organization. That's when people slowly started to stand on his side instead of against him. I think this is a really good point. Point though and it really makes you think twice about things in this entire situation i think the way he's handling the situation and literally laughing at his critics is the best thing he could be doing right now it completely matches the persona he's built for himself in the last few years and honestly it doesn't surprise me that he has supporters again i just want to make one thing clear six nine supporters never left they were always there you just couldn't really hear them with that being said this is another thing about six nine he's simply very consistent with his behavior i think that's why he has so many people on his side right now despite Despite everything, he's still not backing down and caving. No, I'm not, because the landscape of hip hop has changed. So things like street cred and codes just aren't something that is as big of a deal as it once was. And you also have to include that most of his fans are people that don't live in that environment and don't care. This is a really, really good point. It just validates and explains what I mean when I say that people will still listen to him and that most people do not care. Let's be honest, man, and you've heard this before, but how many people wouldn't snitch if they were facing 48 years behind bars? A very small percentage. Percentage, I'll tell you that, which leads me to another point, and that is your average hip hop fan isn't concerned with a street code. If they like the music, they're gonna bump it. That's it. I'm not surprised at all. Dude's a personality, and personality is worth more than talent or skill nowadays. I agree with this. I think this is 100% true, especially in this era of hip hop. 6ix9ine isn't really doing anything different with his music. I mean, he got bangers, but that's about it if you think about it. What separates him is just his very polarizing, fearless, and abrasive character. And that personality overshadows the music music every single time. In my opinion, only reason he's doing massive numbers with his music is because he's out of prison. It's all hype. Once everything settles down, everyone will focus on something else. You know, maybe this is really just a moment. Maybe he'll be far from hot a year or two from now. The way I see it though is, the more impact he gets to make while he's relevant, the bigger of an imprint he's gonna have on the game as a whole. I feel like that's undeniable. This is obviously the peak of it all, but keep in mind that things can get even bigger than this. His music is not top tier but he is a top tier entertainer and I'm all for that. From what I've seen this is how most people feel towards him right now. The entertainment aspect of him in a nutshell is why he's in the position he's in today. Pretty much right. But don't forget it's not just that simple because if it was everyone would be doing 6 9 numbers but the fact is not everyone is. Yeah, get me. 6 9 simply fooled us all because he did exactly what we didn't think he would do. He's still feeding into his character despite everything he's gone through. Everyone thought his career was over when he got locked up, but it doesn't look like that's the case. At the end of the day, only time will tell what really happens in the end, but one thing's for sure. You got played and I got played. He fooled us all, man. What do you think? Do you agree with me or do you not agree with me? <laughs> Definitely let me know in the comment section below and let's have a discussion about this.